Uh, they do. They do take a Buckeye. Taylor Decker, the offensive tackle out of Ohio State, uh, going to Detroit and just building up that offensive line. I mean, I, mean, I think Detroit's going to have a very strong offensive line now. I think Decker is one of the safer choices in this draft. A um, lot of experience, very solid, and he is great at get, getting engaged. You know, he makes he makes players work um, to get past him, and that that's that's what he does best. Is he, he is tenacious and he doesn't let up. He's not dominating. You won't see him knocking guys down and run blocking. You won't see him uh, um, really holding elite pass rushers uh, all the time, but he's going to make them work, and he's going to tire them out. So uh, I think Taylor Decker is someone that you can plug and play and start, right tackle, maybe even kick him inside to guard. I know there have been some talks from some teams about that. So um, I, I like this pick. I think it's about where he should go. And that's, you know, that's really the offensive tackles, right? I mean, we're kind of at a point where those top offensive tackles are all off the board. Uh, we've seen Tunsil, Stanley, Conklin, Decker go. Now you're getting to that next tier uh, of, of Jermaine Effetti from Texas A&M, Jason Spriggs from Indiana. Uh, so if you want an offensive tackle, you may have to reach a little bit if you're Indianapolis, um, something like that. I think I think Atlanta is a super interesting, super intriguing team because they could take Miles Jack. I think they have a big linebacker need uh, to take Miles Jack from UCLA, to take Reggie Ragland from Alabama, um, or if if you are Atlanta, maybe you start looking at a pa- another pass rusher. They had a Vic Beasley last year. Why not? Um, you know why not? Go take Shaq Lawson, his teammate, and add that. Yeah, t- Taylor Decker. No, it doesn't quite have that uh, bubble butt. There you go, Caddy. 